Let's build 10 more shortcuts that you asked for. Get notified every day of the sunset time and visibility conditions. A currency converter built into shortcuts. Convert photos to PDF. Mute your phone every time you leave the house. And log various health data like drinking water and some other health data you might want to track. Links to download all the shortcuts you're about to see are in the video description below, and let's get into it. The first request was finding out the sunset time every day no matter where you are in the world. Well, I set up this shortcut called Global Sunset. The first step is actually getting the current weather at your location. So no matter where you are in the world, as long as this is your iPhone device with you, it will get the sunset time for your location. Then you can get details from current weather, which I chose sunset time. This is actually a built-in piece of data you can get along with many other things like visibility and condition. We'll get back to that in a second. I created a simple text block that said the sun will set at, and then I used the variable sunset time from the action above. I added a vibrate device action. This way it's kind of like a notification. It lets me know when the sunset is gonna be. And then I have the show notification as text. When I run this shortcut, my device will vibrate and I get a little notification telling me that sunset will be at whatever time I am around the world. Now I'm gonna show you how you can automate this in a moment, but you can have it run before sunset at a given time. But request number two, someone asked for a little more detail in the sunset. So you see here we have a similar shortcut, get the weather at current location, and I also get several different weather aspects. And you can also get things like conditions, whether if it's cloudy, humidity, pressure, and more. And I get the sunset time. And here I've adjusted the text a little bit, and it will say the sun will set at the time where I chose the variable above, and the visibility will be, and then I chose the visibility aspect here. That also is gonna show a notification for our device. If I run this, you'll see a little notification appear at the top, and you get all that information in a nice notification. So how do we automate this so we never miss the sunset? I'll hit done here and let's go over to the automation tab. Now here I can press the plus button at the top and time of day is an option to trigger this automation. I'll go to time of day and you'll actually see sunset is an option, but more than that, I can automate the time before sunset. Maybe you want an hour before sunset or 30 minutes. This way you have some warning. I'll do 30 minutes before sunset, hit done. And again, it's gonna use my device's location to calculate that sunset time. I want this to run daily and I want it to run immediately with no notification. I'll go to next, do new blank automation. I'll use the built-in run shortcut action and let's search for our global sunset shortcut that we created. I'll tap that. And now every day, 30 minutes before sunset, I'll get that notification telling me the exact time of the sunset and it's constantly updated by my location every day that it runs. Number three, someone asked about a currency converter in shortcuts. Well, I created one here, but I'm using the third-party action from Toolbox Pro. I'll put a link to that app down in the video description as well, but this simple shortcut will ask you for a number, namely the amount that you want to convert from, and then this Toolbox Pro action, which is a currency converter, I'll clear the source variable, and you can see all the different currencies you can convert from. Now you can choose one of these to always convert from US dollar or always convert from Euro, or you can have it ask each time, and this way you can specify the currencies every time you run this. It's gonna round the conversion to the nearest hundredths and then show me the result in the quick look. If I play this shortcut, you'll see it's gonna ask for a number, let's say 25. It'll ask, what is this coming from? And again, you can hard code this in that action if you don't wanna do it every time, but I'll convert from US dollar and let's go to a Euro, hit done. And now it's gonna show me in a quick look that it's 23 euros to $25. Again, you'll need to download the Toolbox Pro app in order for the shortcut to work, but all those links are down in the video description. Number four, someone asked if you could convert photos to a PDF, you absolutely can. I built this shortcut, it's pretty simple. It allows me to select photos and you can select multiple. I expanded that photos action. You can see I could toggle select multiple on. I added an action after that, which combines the photos in a grid. Now here you can actually specify a little more if you want to combine them horizontally or vertically. And you can also expand this grid action and then you can add spacing between the photos if you would like. Now you can add other actions after the select photos like crop, maybe you only want square images. I can search for the crop action. I'm gonna move that crop action right under the select photos. Now it's gonna crop the photos. And if I expand the crop action, you can see how I wanna crop it. Let's say I want it to focus on the center of the photo and then you would have to specify width and height. Now this can get a little wonky depending on the size of photos you're cropping. So I'm just gonna leave the shortcut as this. Select photos, combine them in a grid, and make a PDF. Now I have the PDF showing in Quick Look, but you can change that to a save file if you'd like to save that PDF to the Files app. Now when I run this, I'll select some photos here, click Add, 
Four photos will be put in a grid, and it's going to make it into a PDF. So this is actually the PDF document. You can see it's in a grid format there. And if I hit the share button in the bottom left, I can save this as a PDF document wherever I would like, or maybe email or text it. I'll hit done, and that's it. Again, you can add a save to files action at the end, or just use the share button in that quick look to share this as a PDF. Number five, someone asked for shortcuts that will mute their device when they leave the house and then unmute the device when they arrive back home. So I created a simple shortcut here. This is the super mute leaving, I call it, which actually sets the media volume, meaning if you play a video, that gets set to 0%. Then I have the ringtone volume also set to 0%, and it turns silent mode on. This action right here is only available on the 15 Pro and Pro Max because it has an action button rather than a mute switch. So just keep that in mind. But that's my super mute leaving. And then I also have another shortcut here called unmute arriving. Basically has the same actions, except it raises media volume to 45, sets ringtone to 40%, and turns silent mode off. Now that you have those two shortcuts, what you can do is go to the Automations tab, hit the plus button, and you'll see Arrive and Leave are actions built into automations. Let's choose Leave. You'll see the location up here. Tap Choose and choose either the current location or specify your home address. Now I'm gonna do something besides my home address, but if you want this to work from leaving from home, make sure to put your home address here. Then you'll see a map down here at the bottom and you can actually choose the radius at which you want this automation to run. So once you leave this radius, namely around your home, that's when it'll run. I'll hit Done. Do any time, or you can do a time range if you only want this to go from 9 to 5 p.m. Otherwise, when you leave at 10 p.m., it won't run. But let's do run immediately. That's important, so it doesn't have any action on our part. We'll go to next, new blank automation, and like before, we're going to go to the run shortcuts action, and then let's choose our super mute leaving shortcut, which you could download in the video description. And now whenever we leave home, it's going to mute our device, and I can create a second automation for when I arrive back home. You'll see arrive is an option here choose your home location again, and select that unmute device shortcut in the run shortcut option. Another request was when their phone disconnects from CarPlay or when they get out of the car, that their phone will mute unless it's connected to AirPods. Well, I created this shortcut here. And what this does is we're gonna plug this into an automation for when CarPlay disconnects. And it's gonna wait 60 seconds. That's the first action. Give you some time to maybe put your AirPods in before it actually runs the rest of the shortcut. After that 60 second wait time, we're actually gonna use another Toolbox Pro action, which is get details about current audio output device. So if you have your AirPods in your ears and they're connected to your phone, now we can have an if statement that says, if the audio device that's connected contains the word AirPod, so it could work for AirPods Pro or AirPods Max, then do nothing, keep the volume the same. But if you don't have AirPods connected, otherwise, set the media volume to 0%. So this is gonna wait a minute after you get out of the car. If you put your AirPods in, it's not gonna do anything. It'll just keep playing at the volume that you had before. Otherwise, if you don't have AirPods in, it's gonna turn the media volume down to 0%. Then to automate this, we'll go to the Automations tab, plus button again, and you'll see CarPlay is an option right here. Choose Disconnects as an option for CarPlay, run immediately, don't notify when run, and then we'll do a new blank automation and same process here. We'll choose our run shortcut action, choose our mute when car disconnects. And now whenever we disconnect from CarPlay, it's gonna run that automation. If no AirPods are connected, it's gonna mute our device. All right, number seven, we're actually gonna do some health logging actions. Someone asked, can you log the amount of water you're drinking in a day? Well, I created a shortcut here called Log Water Menu. Now there's actually a lot of great third-party apps like Water Llama, Water Minder, and a bunch of others that helps you keep track of water. I actually covered those in a past video. I'll link that video above and in the video description. They have great widgets for those apps. But if you wanna do it all built into shortcuts and the stock health app, you can use a shortcut like this. I created a menu at the top, put different ounces amounts like four, eight, 16, 32. You can add more if you have like a 64 ounce water jug and you wanna be able to log that. Depending on which number you choose, it's gonna use that number as a text and then the last action here is log health sample. And it's gonna take whatever you chose, the ounces of water, and log it for today's date as water intake. So if we run this shortcut, I'm actually gonna hit done and just run it from here. We choose how much water did we just drink? I'll say eight ounces, and it simply logs that. You can put this in a widget, maybe as an icon on your home screen, quickly log water. Then for shortcut number eight, I created this report, which actually gets health samples for water intake in the last day, and then adds it up to let us know how much water have we drank today and shows it to me in a message. 
So if I run this shortcut, you can see you've drank 16 ounces of water today, and that's the 16 ounces I just logged. So these are two quick shortcuts you can have, logging your water intake, and then use this to actually check how much water you've drank today. Number nine, another request was, can I find out what day I was the most active in the last month? So there's an action in shortcuts called getting your health samples, and there's lots of options here for choosing what to get. Now I chose exercise minutes. You can do move minutes and other types of activity from the health app. There's a whole list here that you can pull from, which opens the door to a lot of other shortcuts as well. But I did exercise minutes, and I said in the last 30 days. So it's gonna get all the exercise minutes per day. You'll see group by day. It's important to change that. It's gonna sort by value. And then this is going to get, and it's gonna sort it from Z to A, meaning the most at the beginning. Then this action is gonna get the first item from those health samples, which will be the most exercise minutes for a day. Then it's gonna get how many minutes that was, what date it was, and then format that in a nice little text block, letting me know in the last month what day I was the most active and for how many minutes and then show that in quick look. If I run this shortcut, happens pretty quick. And now you can see on June 29th, I had 91 exercise minutes and I can run this whenever I want. And it'll tell me in the last 30 days, which day I was the most active in exercise minutes. Again, you can change that to move minutes if you would like and any of the other pieces of data available. All right, and lastly for number 10, another piece of health data you might want to track is Mm, the tango. Uh, well, we'll just see what this looks like in a minute. But this is a quick log health sample. And what this logs is this type of health sample, which is tracked in the health app. You can choose two different options here or ask every time. And it's just going to log it as the current date. Again, this is actually a category in the health app. And you can see a running log of all the dates and times and that detail. And it just might be something you want to track for various reasons. So that shortcut is also in the video description. You could download it there. So those are 10 shortcuts you asked for. Sunset, health samples, muting your device, and more. Keep the requests coming. Some of you have asked for some really complicated shortcuts. And trust me, I'm trying to work on those. They're coming soon. I also have a lot of you helping me with my podcast transcription summary shortcut. Jason sent me an email and I'm getting very close to doing that. So thank you, Jason, for your help. But leave your request down in the comments. We'll do more shortcuts requests videos soon. And just subscribe to the channel and hit that like button in general. I have lots of videos on iOS 18 and macOS Sequoia. I'll put one of those videos right up here. And if you want to know about home automation and smart home HomeKit stuff, I have over 100 Apple HomeKit devices in my home. Everything's automated. And I'll put one of the videos where I walk through my favorite automations right up here. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.